What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so we defeated Glacia pretty easily. I mean, she was, I guess, a somewhat of a challenge. She did make my Shroom Leaf faint. Yeah, it was, a, it was a fun experience. Now we're going up to the fourth battle right here in the Elite Four Challenge. And, uh, yeah, it's not going to be that easy because it is a Dragon-type trainer. So I got Swamp Lord and I do have the Ice Beam on him, so... Hopefully this will actually help us in the long run, right? Okay, so let's do this. Bring it on. Let's go. Okay, so there it is. She spikes here, spikes there. This guy looks like a sailor. And I am the last of the Pokemon League Elite Four. Drake the Dragon Trainer, or Master. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free. At times, they hinder us. At times, they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what, it's, what it is needed? If you don't, then you will never prevail over me. Alrighty, that's pretty ominous right there. That's very, very ominous. Alrighty, so here we go. Fourth battle in the Elite Four Challenge, and it's Drake the Dragon Trainer. Does sound like that, right? And he's coming out with his Shalgon right here, level 52. Alrighty. Bring it on. So, going into the next screen, if you're playing Pokemon Sap or Ruby or Sapphire, he does have five Pokemon, all Dragon type Pokemon with different abilities. He does come out with a Shogun at level 52, an Altaria at level 54. We got a Flygon at level 53. You got another Flygon at level 53. I probably should have just said two. And his most powerful Pokemon, Salamence, at level 55. These are very, very strong Pokemon. The best way to beat them is either through a Dragon type or Ice type Pokemon. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Emerald, it's five Pokemon is the same. He just changed up one little Pokemon, and that happens to be Kingdra right there at level 53. You also have Shellgon, level 52, Alteria level 54. You got Flygon at level 53, and Salamence at level 55. Be aware, these Pokemon are very, very strong. So, moving on right here, let's do this. Ice Beam Attack, and wow. Okay, so he's going to make me work for this one right here. Alrighty, okay, Shellgun. Man, about to use Protect again. Okay, so here we go, Ice Beam. Hopefully for the win. And, uh, would you look at that, Shellgun, you've been defeated. Alrighty, so that's one right there. And I'm thinking uh, against against Kingdra, I'm going to try and do the same thing that I did over at the, uh, the last gym, and that is uh, try and use uh, Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. So here we go again with another Ice Beam. And, uh, well, look at that, quadruple damage. Altaria just getting beaten, destroyed. Come on, come out with your Salamence. Oh, he's coming out with his Kingdra. So, I'm going to do just that. Let's go to Gaia the Fierce Knight. And, uh, does it have any kind of move? Oh, yeah, it does have Dragon Dance. Just be aware of that, guys. Alrighty, okay. Alrighty, Swift Swim and uh, Calm Mind right here. But it does have Dragon Dance. Will it will increase its attack and its speed? So you guys got to get a yeah a head start on this guy right here. So I can only do one right now. And uh, well, I'm gonna use Sh a Psychic right here. But this guy likes to use Smoke Screen just to be a dick. Come on, let's go, Gaia. So there we go. And that's the end of that for Kingdra. Wow, first attack. Now, I'm not planning on using uh, Gaia right here because, yeah, Flygon does have Crunch Attack right here. So, I'm going to go straight back to Sharp uh, to Swamp Lord. And, uh, you know, hopefully um, any, uh, any of those moves, you know, that, uh, what was it called again? The Sandstorm? It does have Sandstorm, right? It do no, it doesn't have Sandstorm. I thought it had Sandstorm. I don't even know. Okay, let's go with Surf. And, uh, really, you're going to go with an Earthquake Attack? It's not going to be super effective. Watch. Takes a nice chunk, but it's not super effective. So there it is. Surf attack. Nearly beats him. So we're going to go again. And again, if you guys are wondering how I got all my PP back from uh, Surf, I did save up like five or six ethers. So that, that does come in handy. And there you go. Flygon's been defeated. Oh my god. He's coming out with his Salamence. And I'm, I'm just going to stay with the same guy right here. Alrighty. This is going to be a tough one right here because Salamence is a fast and very, very strong Pokemon right here. So let's go with an Ice Beam. 
that. Oh, wow. Dragon Claw. Takes a nice chunk out of my HP, but there is the Ice Beam. What will happen? I don't know. And that's the end of that chapter. <laughs> Salamence has been defeated. I am the victor. Look at that. He's like, superb. It should be said. So that was an easy battle, I guess. I don't even know. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of Pokemon. You do seem to know what it what it is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a, a virtuous heart. Pokemon touch the good hearts of, po of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Go, go onwards and the champion is waiting. Alrighty, okay. So, stay tuned guys. In our next episode, we will be facing the Elite Four champion. I already said it. I already spoiled it. It is Wallace. I will see you guys in that next episode. Hopefully, it doesn't end up like the last time we battled him. You guys remember. Stay tuned, guys. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>